Dave, thanks. And now at six, we here at CBS4 are committed to bringing you stories about why mentoring matters. Well, this week, I have the chance to introduce you to Tomas. After having to leave his home country and enduring lots of bullying, he's now learning about himself and developing a bright future, all thanks to the special relationship Tomas has with his mentor, Luis. Like many teens, Tomas Gamba loves remote control cars, but not many kids his age think about ways to power real hybrid cars. Then again, not every kid is like Tomas. Born in Venezuela, he left his homeland at age 12, in part because of the political turmoil there. My family can't live in Venezuela right now. His first stop, Barcelona, Spain. Tomas, a talented young musician, attended a school and conservatory where classes were taught in the regional Catalan language. They bullied me every time because I don't speak very well Catalan. He describes how terrifying it was. They, um, they stabbed me with a pen, says Tomas, who moved to the U.S. just eight months ago, not speaking any English. But he credits his science teacher at Shenandoah Middle School for making him feel welcome and introducing him to the man who would become his mentor, Luis Martinez. He has a habit of calling me sort of like a fake uncle, right? So, uh, you know, I, I actually view myself more as a friend. I'm um, here really just to show him what's possible. Martinez runs Start em Up, an organization that exposes students to opportunities in science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics. He met Tomas at a field trip. While we were doing some of our programming, Tomas sort of went out on his own uh, to the side of the room and began building things. Martinez discovered Tomas's natural engineering ability, realizing there are more layers to the young musician, not unlike Martinez, who started off as a lawyer and now dedicates his life to education and science. He was just blown away by Tomas's eighth grade science project. He was building the wind turbine. How old is he again? He's 14 years old. Tomas spent the summer visiting tech and engineering companies with Martinez, whose organization started Start him up also gave Tomas a scholarship for an engineering summer boot camp. He gave me like a second opportunity for a start again to engineer. Having him around me really is, is was kind of amazing because he's so passionate about it. With designs for a wind-powered phone and laptop charger and a slew of other original ideas, Tomas is off to the engineering program at Coral Park Senior High School. He hopes to attend MIT someday. I always tell him that, you know, later on in life maybe I could work for him. But Tomas has other plans. Perhaps because of his own experiences trying to find a place to belong, he wants to employ homeless people to develop electricity electronics. Trying to pay it forward, Tomas. Well, just because he's discovered engineering, Tomas says he's not going to give up on music. He says he's just going to have to do both. I'm sure he can do it. No problem there. Smart guy. For information on how you can become a mentor, all you have to do is uh, visit us at cbsmiami.com slash mentoring matters. You'll find a whole list of organizations there that you can get involved with. Also, tell us about mentors in your life. Email us at mentoringmatters at cbs.com. And, of course, check for all our stories at cbsmiami.com slash mentoring matters.